we're heading out to sea. Uh, the competition was called off today because of the high winds. As you can see, there's not a breath of uh, wind. Yeah, uh, it looks like a lo lovely uh, morning. Bumped into Harriet Boat Langling, he's launching behind us. We have drone with us today, whether we'll fly it, I don't know. Plan is today, we're going to go deep. Uh, it'd be really nice to test out some new lures. Uh, it's going to be an interesting day. There's a few bats coming out in a minute. I want to test those teaser lures. And his new nebula reel there to we'll test today. Drop of the day, 180 foot. So you got enough line. <laughs> Where's the twin? What could go wrong? 100 gram lethal lure. Very clear out here. Next time I switch this camera on, I'm going to be into a bloody great pollock. Well, we seem to be able to get down there. Using a different leader today, a gardener target fluorocarbon. Alright, on it. Are you in? It's not very big though. <laughs> no. Nigel's into a fish? No, I'm not. I'm into a parrot in a fish. And he's into the rack. Yeah. Done a couple of drifts with a lethal lure. I'm going to put a fish, black minnow, 80 gram down there now. Nigel had a pounding on that drift. I had a couple of knocks. Comfortably fishing to 180 foot. I haven't got a lot more line on my reel though. Fantastic. I'm in. Could be a pounding. Oh no. No, it doesn't. It's a bit, what's really jerky? I don't know what this is. Cod. No, it's very jerky. Cod. No, it's not cool. It's not a big thing. Well, it could be a deep water mackerel. Really, really jerky. I reckon the net on top of this one. Yeah, I'm going to move off it. Listen, listen, I'm intrigued. Oh, wow. Fast for trees as well, look. What have you got, Andy? Mind the pollock? Really weird. Pollock. Do you try and put them back or do you take them? I'll try and put them back. Is that big enough? No. No. Oh, well, I must admit, I, I do remember having problems drifting this wreck. <laughs> I don't know if you're having problems drifting wrecks. <laughs> Sometimes we get we go across them. Sometimes we miss them. <laughs> I remember problems finding wrecks once upon a time. And we had a handheld GPS. We'd get to the wreck, drift it once, then spend an hour looking for it. Guys, I'll pick the scissors up, mate. Alright, oh, Fuck it. No, we can come out. We can come out. We can come out. We're moving to another wreck. I had a good hit then, but oh, it's proving a problem to drift this one. Uh, the weedless slurs led straight seems to be fine. Red gillers amongst us are struggling. Cheeky little beer. Yeah, cock. It's 
not that big. No, I think it could be a pout. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pout cod. This goes to show you, 180 foot with 50 gram fish black miller. I'm wondering if mine's too heavy. It can't be a pout. I, I, think think a I think it's a big pout. It's not a cod because I'm bringing it into it. It's a, it's a pout. In. It's just a big pout. In. Big old channel pout. Channel pout. <laughs> I didn't feel a different type of fight, I don't that know. That pollock over earlier was different, it was different pollock. Well, that's... No, it's a pollock. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh and I've just killed it to bring it up to. Yep, put it in the pot. It's not going to go back, don't bother, it's no, a waste of it. No, it will not go back. Let it try and find a little bit there, isn't it? Oh, it's going back, boy. It's going back. Yeah, all right, okay. Right, you get that one back. I'm going to let it climatise a little bit then. That's what it's saying. 20 minutes down there. Rest yeah. it. Yeah, let it climatise for a second. Get this ready. It's like a freaking shark coming and smashed it down the wood on the side. Get the old mat out, Nigel. Get it on the boat before you knock it on the head. That is not a good idea. I'm telling you, you're going to release that and it's going to float to the top. Come back. That's a fair play. I'm going to save the life of that when you pull it. Nice fish though. Yeah. Anyway, I'll take that. I don't think it's even size. Right, can I go to the back or do you want me to drop here? Oh no. oh no, you cruel bastard, Nige. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not only did he feed, he's feeding the seagulls, oh, and he's got a bass. That's the pollock Nigel rescued her. Oh, <laughs> 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 he was rescued. You want to show that bass, bass to the camera. I've got an 80 gram. I've got an 80 gram so big there. Actually, well, I'm not talking. Well, too late now. Just let me get down there because I want to see what the weight is. Oh, 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 look, look at that pollock, though, Julia. He's going to make you. <laughs> so, this is a fish care. By um, that's a nice one. Yeah, I think it's a dead end. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Quality. As pr I've just been fishing with a, a, a slow jig. I left the rubbers on the hook. Just to guarantee I wouldn't catch any. No fish at home, this boat. <laughs> yeah, we don't harm fish, as you can see from that release by Nigel Nigel, Bar, does, Nigel, Nigel the does, pollock. he feeds them to gulls. The gull feeder. I would have eaten that. I'm into something, possibly a pound thing. Possibly a starfish. They're not filming. Well, I've got to catch something for the camera. I don't know what it is actually. You've nicked my seeds at the back of the. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't even pound that. Could be another undersized bass. But it really works. How many times does that have a go at that then? Two or three? Pounding? 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 Good uh, that, that could be a poor cod. <laughs> Nigel, do you reckon we should get that down there and try and release it? <laughs> well, I've switched to slow jigging on the nebula. On the nebula, the lighter rod. It actually works quite well with slow jigging. We could invest heavily in a slow jigging setup. But that's another rod on the boat. Not ideal. I think I'm going to stick with this for the time being. The tide's dropping off. I'm catching pounding on every cast now. We've, we've located where the big bashels are. We ain't going to be able to get too close to them today because it looks like there's a lot of boats there. 
and he's had a bass he's singing he's celebrating probably was undersized louder louder here we go h2o 80 gram slow jig fished with gardener target 16 pound fluoro Jobs are good. Oh. Well, I reckon I've got a fine pounding on here. Is he? Has he got a pollock? Yeah, I don't think it's going. I need, that now. I need to get it back. There's a pollock. There's a definite pounding. Oh, it's some lovely jellyfish down there. Oh, it's about to slide. Pollock, actually, isn't it? Not pollock, pound. Oh, it's just fallen off. Oh, it hasn't. I don't believe it. My pounding is just falling off. Oh. I don't know what to say, Mike. I was actually just about to say, I'm not sure if this is the pounding. It could be a baby pollock. Oh, there you go. We're on a bass wreck. Start with a 50 gram fish black minnow. 94 foot depth. I might prefer a light than all these days, it's very small. Proper hit though. Probably a bass chasing the pounding. Oh, it's off. That's actually, it just went at the last minute. I mean, it's a small bass. Big bass, yeah. Small bass. Nigel's into a good fish. Well, I'm not into a good bass, I'm just saying it's... He looks a bit special over there. I would actually get my phone out. Ewan, I'm in the ring. I'm filming, Nigel, so show the fish to the camera. Joe the vegetarian. Love you. <laughs> I think he's killed it. Nigel just released a decent bass. as big as the last one. Nigel's into a good bass. Try and get in front of the camera. I can't be on the camera. Do you want to get it? No. I've touched the leader. Hey, it's off! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> He's had a minor emergency then. Uh, our friend Harry from uh, a local jacket shop has uh, seems to have had a minor issue at the sea. Just being addressed by the Coast Guard at the minute. We, we would have seen that we seriously didn't have enough fuel to help out. Oh, clappers. 
as your new rod. Has it taken line off the drag yet? It wasn't actually, it wasn't bought as a new rod Andy, was it? It was just bought as a one to leave in the cabin because they were 15 quid. They are actually surprisingly good, aren't they? Oh, I know. Yeah, isn't it? They are surprisingly good. Oh. Oh. Try it, one look at the new board because the eyes are on the work more than one. Looks like a nice rod. What did you bring today and not your uh, That's a good sized bass. The barbecue. I uh, just wanted to sort of like give it a go. Give it a go. You know, christen it. Shun it to the camera. Yeah. Into a good fish. Well it's finally got one. <laughs> My time has come. And the old lighter rod. <laughs> Catching a bass most drift now. Could this be the big fish point? I don't think so. Felt good when I hooked it. little bass. I think I mentioned earlier in the video we our friends at the local tackle shop had a fueling error on their boat. We believe the, the Coast Guard have gone to rectify the situation. Well done to the Coast Guard. We found a few bass here but as a rule of thumb always take two fuel tanks out with you in a boat. Because if you get halfway know when to turn back. That's the end of the day today. We've had plenty of fish today, nothing huge. Uh, not the best day we've ever had, but it all goes towards. We decided never to go, not to bother with those really large deep wrecks. Coming in after an eventful day. Fingers crossed our friends from Bogolag are okay. So we're going to the bridge, but it's not bad. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We don't take our fishing too seriously. Uh, sorry about the standard of angling there. It was pretty poor, to say the best, along with fish care. But uh, we learned a couple of important lessons that day. Uh, one of them is always take two petrol tanks with you in a boat, as we did. We've never, ever had to call out the Coast Guard, but we have had a couple of man overboards and nearly sunk a boat in our youth. Or second one, uh, there's no point in years when we were in our 20s, we used to go out to those wrecks, catch hundreds of pollock, uh, hundreds of cod, I should say. Uh, nowadays, that sort of fishing is long gone and uh, probably better off saving the petrol and staying inside. I do hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like, do think about liking, subscribing, and uh, hopefully there'll be a couple more videos coming soon. And uh, <clears throat> we'll try and get it together a bit more in future. Cheers.